So I'm uh, Vic Ross, Dr. Victor Ross, and I'm the Director of Laser and Cosmetic Dermatology at Scripps Clinic here in uh, San Diego. So in comparing the old M22 to the new Stellar, there are some differences. Uh, the major improvements that the Stellar has uh, integrated into the system is a larger graphical user interface, which is much easier, less eye strain, easier to touch the right spot and get the right settings. The main advantage I see are twofold. One is the protrusion of the light guide. The light guide actually now protrudes about two to three centimeters versus a centimeter. And that really allows for a lot better visibility. So the visibility is enhanced with the Stellar system versus the old M22, primarily based on the length of the light guide. So by having a longer light guide, you can see everything from further away. You can actually see around the handpiece, uh, which tends to obscure your vision. And with the older M22, which was an excellent device, the snout was much shorter, so you had to kind of turn your head to the side. And that meant you had to slow down a bit to reassess more often, and there was more fatigue on your eyes as well as your hands. The other advantage is this handpiece allows for multiple ways to hold it, and it has basically two ways to hold it. You can hold it at the base, or you can hold it over the light guide. And so people prefer one or the other. I like holding near the back of the handpiece. Again, I think that allows me to see better and less fatigue on my wrist, but some people might prefer uh, a, a different style of holding it. But the nice thing about this device, uh, particularly compared to the OLM22, besides the larger graphical user interface and the longer light guide, it is this ergonomic flexibility. You can actually now take your hands and use it different ways. You can go left-handed, right-handed. So it's very nice over the course of a day as far as uh, the burden that you have as far as making sure everything's in the right spot.